Hello? Oh, uh, good evening. Are you the puberty fairy? The fuck did you just call me? The puberty fairy? I'm the hormone monster. I'm just here to give your friend a nocturnal emission. <laughs> How come in all these videos, puberty for boys is like a miracle of ejaculation? There is it! Oh, no. That's the most I've ever made. And for girls, we're just a yarn ball of aching tubes. Oh, my God. Last night, I saw Andrew's penis. Ah! What are you doing? Oh, my God. And now you're worried you're homosexual? Mickey, a man can touch another penis. Excuse me? Even kiss one very lightly. Okay. This might be somewhat rare for you. What are you saying? That most of the time I'm going to like girls and they won't like me back, so I should seize this opportunity? Yeah, that makes sense. Everything's embarrassing. Everything is so embarrassing. <laughs> There's another slit in the back, but that's only for my birthday. This kid might be a genius. Get this. Girls are horny, too. Just as horny as guys, supposedly. You have no idea what I want, you fuck nut shit bag. You want to shoplift lipstick. You want to listen to Lana Del Rey on repeat. You want to scream at your mother and then laugh at her tears. Everything okay here, sweetie? Get the hell out, Shannon! Get out! Hey girl, hey! I'm your genitals. Hi, I'm I'm Jesse. <laughs> hey, you, you go, go first. first. Wait, oh, we jinx. talked at the same time. Oh, you know you're not scary. Bill. Ah. Is that too far? That part made me uncomfortable. Yeah, at the time it seemed funny. No, and I like fucked up stuff like that. You know, Netflix insisted on it. Really? No. If I had the chance, I'd ask a woman to dance. The subject of pedophilia on YouTube can be a very sensitive one, especially because this platform, just like the outside world, is the home to millions of us. But what happens behind the closed doors of this highway of data will not only shock you, but will open your eyes to a side of YouTube that you perhaps never knew existed. We've already heard of the webcam video from Scandal. This video will not focus on that. Instead, my research led me to categorize the current state of the subject into three different areas which we will focus on today. First, pedophilia sold through private videos. The subject of breastfeeding on camera can seem tame, harmless, that is, until one of these mothers found a sick way to profit from her newfound notoriety. Her name is Leigh Felter, a piano teacher and mother who was arrested in October of 2015 and is facing very serious child abuse charges. She recorded breastfeeding sessions with her then one and a half year old son, but it is very easy to tell from the footage that her intentions were very different. She carefully reviewed the YouTube guidelines so that her videos wouldn't be censored or taken down. In fact, most of her material still circulates through the website. The uploads eventually brought her a decent sized fan base to constantly request a new material. Eventually, Lay started uploading these videos as private, which she would then sell through a PayPal account. The material involved her breastfeeding her son but it was very sexually suggestive in nature. 
One of her customers managed to download several videos and tipped off police, which eventually led to her arrest. Unlisted YouTube live streams and unlisted YouTube videos are many times used to provide viewers with illegal content, from pay-per-view sporting events to much more morbid material, outside sources and underground websites many times link back to YouTube for the service they provide with this feature. Category number 2. Content creators using fame to take advantage of their audience. It's not the first time it happens. Throughout the past years, several YouTubers have been accused of having sexual relationships with fans, who in many cases turned out to be minors. Let's take a look at the recent case of Austin Jones. Austin is a YouTube singer with over 540,000 subscribers, but was arrested on June 13th with charges of child pornography. Police immediately confiscated his cell phone, where they reported to have found several sexually explicit videos involving minors. According to several news networks, Jones had allegedly been in communication with two underage female victims on Facebook between August of 2016 and May of 2017. Jones would apparently ask these young women to prove that they were his biggest fan and to do so by sending him this sort of material. Austin Jones is still in custody. If convicted, he could be facing up to 15 years in prison. Category 3 Several months ago, one of my followers sent me a link to a YouTube channel that was supposedly uploading videos from the deep web, and upon researching the footage, it was concluded that this was in fact true. What this YouTube user would essentially do was to carefully edit the footage so that the videos would seem like a regular and normal video, but he would leave out the obscene clips. The following videos are real and taken from his channel. The man would upload this content from two deep web pages. The first is Animal's Nightmare, a necrozoophiliac forum where animals are raped and tortured. His second source of videos was a pedophile network. The following sequence involving two children is far more fucked up than what it seems on the surface, and it is 100% real. The reality is that the two children are being directed by an adult to have sex in front of the camera. The internet will continue to evolve. And with its progression, those who pursue their sick desires will keep adapting, making their favorite and most precious websites a home to their dark obsessions.